Hey everybody, this is Bill Harris, product manager for Telestream's live capture product line. For the next few minutes, I'll be showing you the sub clipping option for live capture and giving you a short demo. So, what is live edit? In short, live edit is a sub clipping option for live capture. Live edit allows lightning fast sub clipping for files being captured or files previously captured. Subclip editing is performed using a live edit HTML5 browser user interface, which is driven by a frame accurate HLS proxy. Like all capture and vantage workflows, metadata can be added to support any requirement. Subclip edits are applied to the high res files and can be output individually or conformed together. The output can then be published directly through any vantage workflow. Live edit is ideal for creating quick highlights, posting social media, creating VOD, multi-screen, or any other deliverable required, all with minimum delay. Okay, let me show you a quick demo of live edit for live capture. The live edit functionality or option requires two capture workflows. One to capture the high res and a HLS proxy and the other to act as the sub clip action which will take the output of our edits and uh, conform or create our output files which would then be processed by uh, Vantage workflow downstream. So I won't go into great detail here because it's really just a stand, standard capture but I'm capturing a, a TIFO file uh, with uh, XAVC and then creating a uh, HLS proxy which I am then writing uh, to the root address of the proxy origin server. Clip action is an origin action that's going to take the edit decisions made with the live edit UI, uh, create a reference file referencing back the high res and then pass that down the line to uh, Vantage Workflow. And you know, for this example, it's a very simple Flip64 uh, rewrap. Uh, so I'm going to make uh, an MXF and a QuickTime uh, simultaneously from the edits that I create with the uh, Live Edit um, UI. Inside the slub command, it's pretty simple. Um, you just have a URI to the origin server. Uh, so uh, the system knows where the proxy resides and then whether you want to make a fully contained or reference uh, MPEG. Uh, so that's really pretty much it. It's really simple. So I'm going to activate this workflow. Now I'm going to activate three channels of capture. So I can show you I can do three channels of capture and edits all from the, uh, the UI itself. Now I'll go ahead and get my workflows capturing. And open up the live capture manual UI and I'm going to say capture. So now I'm going to start capturing on all three of these channels at the same time. I'll go and open up the live edit UI now what you see here is channel 1, channel 2, and channel 3 are now recording uh, and you can see it over in the uh, preview window um, all these are recording live so I've got uh, my live button here and it shows that it's live uh, same thing for channel Two, although that's the same input, uh, channel three. Now, when you go, if you bring the playhead back, uh, you'll go away from being in live mode, but you can jump right back to live mode by hitting the back to live. Now I can make all kinds of edit decisions based on uh, what I wanted to create. Uh, simply 
create an endpoint and an out point, and then I can publish that to my clip list over here. And there might be several different pieces you want to edit out. So I can do an in and an out and publish. So now I'm publishing a, a list of edits, and I can publish as many edit points as really I need or want. The edits show up in the edit window down here is a, a slight gray bar, so you can click on that, double click on that, and it opens up your clip. You can make any kind of changes you want here. Now I can jump around between channel 3, channel 2, or channel 1. If I had metadata, I could apply metadata just by selecting the little gear up here. I have no metadata on this particular demonstration, so I can't really show you that. So let me jump back to live. If I wanted to jump to the very beginning of the clip, just select the uh, first time code, jump right to the beginning of the clip, and select the last time code. You jump to the end of the clip. It's quite simple to use, so I'm going to add a few more clips. Okay, I can take these clips and I can rearrange them and drag them up and down. Now, if I drag them up and down, then they would be stitched together based on the order that you uh, create them or the order that you set them after drag on, uh, dragging up and down. You can also uh, export a uh, EDL file uh, by selecting the Up button or Import. I then can import that file uh, if I had uh, my edits uh, already in a file format, I could just import that directly. Okay, now I can submit. I'm going to submit these files to the subclip action. That subclip action then can, in an open mode, uh, communicate with the Flip64 action, which is part of that workflow. And then it would create uh, both an MXF and QuickTime of the uh, high res that uh, we're capturing with. So I can also say create a new file for each clip. So I've got five entries in here. If I check that box, and each one of these clips would be an individual job and an individual file. If I uncheck that, then each one of these clips would be conformed together to create one output file and then send that down the workflow. I can also select a different destination for my output files. Uh, right now it, it follows the uh, uh, description that's in the workflow. Uh, but if I wanted to override that, I could select that from here. So I select um, Capture. And then that's going to go up here into the status. Now it shows my capture is now uh, in a waiting mode. If I jump over to that workflow, you'll see now that the Flip64 process is processing the output for the, for the uh, subclip command. And now I've created a file that uh, is, has been conformed with all five of those edits. And the output is then here. It's either an MXF or a QuickTime based on my workflow here. Of course, this workflow could be as complicated and, and sophisticated as you wish. Uh, so you can drive any kind of vantage workflow from the subclip, uh, subclip action. If I went ahead and took a look at the, that clip, Now here is the output of all my clips that I've uh, subclipped together.
Okay, that was a quick demo. Uh, if you would like more information or a much more in-depth uh, demonstration of live edit for live capture, just let us know and we can arrange for an online demonstration for you. Thanks for watching. For those who want a more in-depth look at live edit, arrange for an online meeting where we can discuss your specific needs. I hope to hear from you soon.